it is always important to practice your public speaking. Imagine as a speaker, a scene of learn different types or different techniques that you can explore to practice your speaking. And the one effective way, and I'm here today, I'm going to outline five ways that you can use to what, practice your public speaking. Number one is reading aloud. If you want to do it long term, you need to read aloud. So reading aloud simply means that if you have a book like this, you just open it and you start reading aloud. So this is my first book and uh, if I want to read aloud to practice, I would say it increases opportunities, you in your increase visibility will no doubt lead to no new opportunities in the workplace. You'll be given more opportunities to present at important meetings, to create opportunities, to create a power and to believe in yourself. So I'm just reading a, a page in this book. So as a speaker, you need to normalize reading aloud for some period of time. Then once you get a rhythm, you keep moving. Number two is you can practice by inviting your friends or family to witness your presentation. So maybe you have a major presentation. What you need to do is to invite your family or friends to sit down and you can uh, uh, give your speech for them to criticize. You can give your speech like a present for them so that you get to know where your lapses are, then you correct them. Number three is, people uh, suggest that you can check the mirror, stand in front of the mirror and speak. Do your gestures, see how you, you move your hands, see how you, you show your gestures and uh, it can also help. Number uh, four is record on phone. Take your phone, record, delete, record, delete. So first you can start with the audio aspect of it. Record all your presentation with the audio, or also you can use the video element of your what, your phone. So the more you you delete, you can have a tripod, mini tripod like this, whereby you can just uh, practice the whole presentation on video or audio, and you get to evaluate that. So and the final one is that you can you need to practice before every presentation. You just need to what? Practice your presentation. Before you do any major presentation, find a way, practice, walk around and speak to yourself, walk around, get ideas in your mind, walk around and practice. Just practice alone. And once you are able to incorporate all these major, uh, measures or practice techniques, you can become a good speaker because speaking is all about practice. The more you keep on speaking, the more you get opportunities to what? To become a better speaker. And the final, the bonus one is that sometimes when I get, have a major presentation, I get another presentation, which is also a major one, but for example, I want to speak to 2,000 people. I can organize an event of like 100 people and I speak to them. And uh, they may not know that I'm practicing with them, but I can use them to practice. You can also do Facebook Lives, you can also do YouTube live, whatever, Instagram live or Reels, just to practice and to get your uh, voice in shape. Go on, keep on pushing. It's always going to be possible. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. Let's go!